Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF 1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Last episode got pretty crazy. We had the massacre in the meat locker with Mr. Rosenberg, and then we totally saved a guy from committing suicide. He, <laughs> we went and stole a guy's truck full of cardboard boxes, and the dude jumped off the building and landed in the back of the truck, and apparently all the boxes were, like, frozen or something, because he landed on them, and they just shattered into, like, pieces of glass. It was just, it was so weird looking. And so I foresee more strange things going on, because there's totally a full moon out, which would explain why the White Sox beat the Cardinals today, because that makes no sense at all. Mr. Ronfali. <clears throat> Gentlemen, can I have your marks, please? Get set, go! What's up with the weird music playing in this room right now? It's so weird. Gentlemen? Or shall I say partners? Mm. Oh, I drank that. <laughs> Did he not take the price tag off the bottom of those glasses? I want you to know that they were eight fifty. I want you to know! Okay, so what do we... that, that was it? No more to do there, huh? <laughs> okay! I guess we're leaving. So does that mean that, uh, that, like, is that place, like, an asset of ours now, or what's what's the deal with that? That was such a strange sequence of things to have happen there. I'm not sure I particularly understand what's going on there. But that's just fine. So I guess we're gonna go... Oh! Well, we're gonna knock that guy out of the road first. I guess we're gonna go see what Mr. Tenpenny's got to say, if that's who this really is. Somebody told me that's who it was, but sometimes, sometimes... I get nervous on airplanes. And not really, actually. I, I love airplanes. Uh, really, really funny sketch from uh, from John Mulaney, though. God. The Xanax story might be, in my opinion, his best material. Uh, but let's let's see what this is all about. I would I would love to uh, make s I would love to make good progress like we did in our in our last Instalamente, because that was awesome. I love episodes where you can where you can get a lot done in a very small window of time, too. Like, that was only, like, a 15 or 16 minute episode, I think. No, it wasn't. It was a lot longer than that. It was, that's right. Uh, that was my Half-Life one that I was thinking of. But it would be cool if we could if we could get a lot done here. I'm, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very, uh, I'm in, like, a productive mood tonight. You know, I'm, I'm feeling energized after, after I saw my team finally win a game, for God's sakes. So, I think we can do it. Is this just where he lives? It's, uh, right next to Patriotic Paul over here? This, so this is where Officer Tenpenny lives, huh? If this is, if this is it, of course. Who's this? Hello? Carl, it's me, Ken. Oh, God. The Leone family has made their move. Salvatore's here. Now, he's taken over Caligula's. Uh-oh. We're screwed. It's war for control of Venturas, man. War. War! There's word of some triad visitors, something that should keep them busy. I'm calling from the bathroom. I gotta go. I really gotta go. I'm actually pooping. I, I'm not calling from the bathroom because I'm actually in imminent danger. I just really have to take a dump. Salvatore Leone, huh? Oh, God. So many cameos. Oh, yep. It's the Hello, man. <laughs> I think I found some drugs inside of this grill. Yeah, I was starting to miss you guys. Now, why don't I believe you? Get over here. We're now throwing some bison steaks on. Have a seat. Despite our best efforts, the gig's nearly up. I'm sure you'll find some way to keep your badge. Your kind always do. You still don't get it, do you, Carl? This ain't about keeping some fucking badge. Hey, listen to the man. We all the same, Carl. You, me. We all trying to pull ourselves out of the hole. Somebody steps on me. I gotta step on you. I mean, you don't have to Where's do that, but that's that your choice. Meat. He's been gone too long, Tenpenny. God, how much lighter fluid Give are you no spraying in there, man? God. Oh! oh. How you like that? Did you just punch him in the balls? That give you any idea how edgy I am? God, I wish I would have lit that guy on fire. I hate him so much. You paying attention? I am now, even though I don't think I'm gonna be bearing children for a while. Malvada. And there's some piece of shit DEA officer meeting with an FBI agent with a dossier. Now you get the dossier and you make both of them disappear. Oh good, yeah, that's that's really gonna make my uh that's really gonna make things disappear for me. 
That's really going to make my, uh, my rap sheet diminish, isn't it? Oh, good. Kill the target and grab the evidence dossier. Well, I certainly plan on doing that. If I don't want, you know, Tenpenny punching me in the balls again. I mean, it may have been in the stomach, but it certainly looked like the balls to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think a guy would fold over quite as bad just by getting punched in the stomach than, uh, you know, getting punched right in the boys, you know? Alright, so where exactly are we going? Where is this area? Is it, uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. It is over here. God, where is it? Where exactly is this, uh... Oh my god, that's a long ways away. Holy smokes. Alright, we're jumping on the tracks then. <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be going for a long drive tonight. This is the time that I wish I had a faster car. This is definitely one of those missions where I'm gonna be probably really upset if I if I fail it because it's such a long ass drive, you know? This is not the kind of mission that you wanna have to do two or three times due to how long you have to spend doing it. Okay, I just wanna make sure Oh uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes, I understand. So we don't wanna be on these tracks for anyone. We gotta we gotta pop off this way. And head up this way. So, uh, okay, have you ever... I'm, I'm sure every one of you guys has dealt with this before at some point. You ever had one of those moments where where uh, you pull up to a stoplight and you're, like, at the front of it, and uh, then, like, some douchebag kid, probably somewhere in the age between, like, 18 to, I'm gonna say, probably 25, uh, he pulls up next to you in his car, and, like, you have absolutely no intention of racing them whatsoever. But for some reason, they either think that A, you do, and like you do intend to race them, or they're just trying to show off and be a douchebag to, uh, to their little stupid ass friends or whatever. I totally had that happen to me yesterday when I was driving home from work. I was just like listening to some Louis C.K. stuff, and, you know, on my way home. I pull up to the, I pull up to the light, and it's, uh, it's like, you know, just a, just a regular area, and, uh, and, uh, these... This, uh, this kid pulls up in, like, his 2010, like, Subaru Impreza WRX, whatever. That's, like, the only other car besides, like, your Honda hatchbacks that people ever drive when they want to race, it seems like. That and, like, your Acura Integras and, and whatnot. But, uh, man, where the hell do we have to go? Okay, I see. We gotta, we gotta get up on that, tr on that trail somehow. Where the hell was I supposed to go to get up there? We're going off-roading. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. Well, out we go. <laughs> this would have been Grand Theft Auto 3. We would have been... Uh, we would have been dead. <laughs> that would have been the worst way to have that unfold. That would have been so stupid. However, it did not unfold that way. Um, I need a car. And I don't know if I'm going to find one out here. Oh, there's one right there. So, yeah, so I pull up to this stoplight, and this guy pulls up in his little stupid little little thing, and he's he's got a friend with him, and uh, it's not really important, but they're they're both Hispanic kids. Um, totally not important, but whatever. <laughs> Might as well get all the, all the, you know, all the, all the information out there. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I'm just trying to get up the thing here, you know? This is just not going to happen the way that I want it to. I can already see it. Uh, this might work, though. There's a possibility I might be able to run impossibly up this ridge. Like, <laughs> it should not be happening like this. There's no way. What kind of shoes is Carl wearing right now that's permitting this sort of, this sort of traversing? You know? This is insane. Oh, well, whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not complaining. He's, he's doing, he's doing his job, you know? Okay, we're not that far away. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a a bit of a run, but we'll we'll get there. So uh, so they pull up, and I've got like all my windows down because it was like 95 or whatever yesterday, even at like seven o'clock. But that's uh, whatever. And so um, and so I'm sitting there, and like I can hear right next to me because like they're playing music and and whatever, and it was like some bullshit EDC stuff, <laughs> or uh, not EDC but EDM, and it was just like some crazy just weird mishmash of just <laughs> type of stuff, you know? And, um, and, like, I can hear them, you know, shift their car into neutral and just start revving it. And I look over at them like, really? Like, do you really think that I care? 
about this right now, because I, I clearly don't. And like the light turns green, and he just just slay, he just switches it into drive, and just slams on the gas, and peels out right in front of me, and just takes off. And it's like, really? Like, do you really think that I like had? Oh my God! There's a lot of people here. Okay, this is gonna get ugly. This is gonna get really ugly. Thank God I still have this thing. What? He's escaping in a helicopter? Are you kidding? So I have to follow him now. Oh no. Oh boy, I really opened up a can on myself. This was this was a bad idea. This is the story of a girl. I need to get into a car. I'm gonna run over here and get into the chopper. And I'll fly. Bum, bum, bum. I'm not gonna let him get away. <laughs> If I can get this thing going fast enough. Come on. Up you go. Up you go. Here we go. We are we are moving. So yeah, dude, this guy just like totally, totally peels out and just drives away. And the kids just look at me like as they're going. Because I look over at them like giving them like that. Really? Like, really guys? You really you really had to do that, huh? Oh, they're, they're way down there. I didn't realize we were doing it this way. So am I going to be able to shoot these guys? So, uh, so I decide that I'm not really gonna try. I'm not really gonna try to chase him down or anything, because it's you know totally a waste of gas. We're gonna try to do any of that crap. Uh, but I kind of you know I just I just start driving because I know that there's like another stoplight like only you know like a couple thousand feet away, and so you know they they peel out and they're like flooring it down the way, and I'm just sitting here open like where's a cop right now? Where's the cop right now when I need him? I just I wanted to get pulled over so bad for. For just you know pure unadulterated douchebaggery and and stupid assery if those were you know offenses you could get arrested for <laughs> you kind of can but you know that's not really the point so i'm just you know i'm coasting at like 40 miles an hour doing the speed limit and uh you know i can see in the distance that they they pull up to uh they pull up to a stoplight because there's you know they're, they're, it was gonna happen it's like they were just gonna take off and whatever and uh, they were in the other lane, and I realized that by me staying in the lane that I was in, I'm totally going to pass these guys, and I'm going to end up being, you know, a couple slots ahead of them when I pull up to the thing. And so, I just, I kind of slow down, and I'm coasting, like, you know, 20, 15 miles an hour or whatever, uh, just so, you know, I can kind of, so I, so I can be loud enough for them to notice that I'm there. And so I pull up to him, and I just like just let out this loud ass cackle, and I flipped him off. I just went, <laughs> <laughs> "Whoa, whoa, hold on! Oh god, we got fighter jets out here. Well, why are you going at me for? Why not the other guy that's out here? Why, why aren't you? Why aren't you giving these guys the the freaking you know Smokey the Bear MacGuffin special, huh? I mean, they're the ones that started the whole thing." He started it. He ate my pizza on purpose. He was all like sausage and olives and look what you did, you little jerk. Oh boy. I'm trying to get up there. I'm trying. I'm a trying. Oh boy. I got an idea. I got an idea. Abandoned ship. Oh, you're going to get it now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was the whole thing? Really? Oh, they're just gonna leave me alone? <laughs> they're like, ah, darn it. Oh, darn it. Green shirt got the thing? Oh. Well, alright. There's still a half box of donuts in the office. I mean, we might as well go have some of those. <laughs> that was so weird. I did not expect it to just end so abruptly like that. That was, that was so strange. But yeah, dude, I just like, I drove by him and I just went, ha <laughs> ha! And, and flipped him off, and then I was up at the stoplight, like, right in front of him. And so, then I ended up turning down one of the streets, and they totally started following me. And, uh, I was like, oh, this, this could get, this could get potentially interesting, actually. Okay, where are we right now? We gotta get back to, oh, we're right over here. Okay, we can just go straight down. I was like, uh, I was like, oh, this could get interesting. And now I know that I've totally pissed them off, because, you know, I was like, oh, God, it got in front of me, oh, you embarrassed me in front of my friend, oh, 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 oh. And so, uh, so I turn down the street, and they come barreling around the corner, and I know, and they're like trying to catch up to me. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I, uh, I'm pulling into the turn lane to go, you know, over to my house, and uh, and I can see them. They're not, they're not gonna like turn into my lane to like follow me any further, but I can see that, you know, they, 
that they, when they were only about like a, about 150, you know, like 150 feet to 200 feet behind me, they just slammed on the gas and just took off like right, right by me as fast as they could. And uh, they both, you know, stuck their middle finger out the window and just like, fuck you, bro, don't do this. Like, okay, and I'm sitting here thinking, wait a minute, you, you, why, what kind of contradiction is that? He puts his, he goes out the window, and he says, fuck you, bro. It's like, so you're calling me bro like we're tight or something, but then you're insulting me at the same time. Like, which one do you want it to be? <laughs> it's gotta be one or the other. And I was just like, man, kids are stupid. They are just dumb, dumb people. They really are. But, hey, you know, sometimes you can't negotiate with idiots. That's just, that's just the way the world works sometimes. I just, I love, I love making making stupid kids like that feel dumb in front of their own counterparts. It's just like, like, you guys really went and wasted all that time, and then I'm the one that made you feel bad about about things. Because I kind of turned your own little your own little thing up on, you know, up on its up on its end there. <laughs> I, just, I love it, man, because they thought that they were going to, like, make me all upset by, you know, oh, man, we really beat him off the line. He's surely going to feel... He's gonna be feeling it now. He's just gonna. He's he's gonna have his tail between his legs, and he's gonna go home and cry himself to sleep. <laughs> but instead, I just you know I kept my cool, and I was just like, whatever, man. I don't you know I, I got that whole racing people thing out of my system like like seven years ago, so it really doesn't even phase me anymore. So yeah, dude, it's uh. It's funny. I, I love I love upsetting people. It's uh I love kind of like being that that silent antagonizer. So yeah, dude, it was fun though. It was fun. I love doing that sort of thing to people. Okay, so another successful one in the books. It it was a little bit sloppy. I, I didn't really plan on you know running up the ridge, but Carl's got some crazy shoes. <laughs> I mean, they look like just some average like you know Adidas or you know Reeboks or maybe like some. Uh, Maybe like some ASICs or something, but, I mean, they apparently have some sort of special powers to them that you can run on terrain that's at, like, like a, you know, like a 30-degree angle, and it's not even a big deal. It's just like, hey, freaking whatever. So, yeah, man. All right, guys. Well, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, it would appear uh, that we're going to be heading back to Caligula's again to deal with Salvatore. Salva freaking Tor. I didn't think I'd be seeing that ugly ass mug ever again, but apparently we are. So, with that said, my friends, we will take care of that. But until then, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and I wonder who's going to be in charge of getting that chopper out of the middle of the road. I don't really care. Not my problem. See you guys later. Bye.